Salam sejahtera guys. Welcome to another episode of Dive Vlog. I am Adam. Hi, I'm Diki. Again, selamat datang. Welcome to another episode of the Dive Vlog podcast and for tonight, malam ni kita ada a special guest. We have a, a guest. We managed to get him Mr. Shaiful Hazwan. Shaiful betul, Hazwan. Betul. Uh, AKA Bong. He came all the way datang daripada Pulau Tioman guys. Apa yang kita nak cakap pasal malam ni? Okay, first of all, Bong. Yeah. As you all know from our previous podcast, Bong ini orang pulau dah. So, oh, pulau. biasanya <laughs> from the originally dia orang orang oh. bandar kan? Yeah. Dan yes. lepas tu dia pindah pergi pulau untuk kerja kan? Yes. yes. So, Bong tell us why are you back here in the city? Why yeah. did you came out from the paradise <laughs> from the island? And now the kerja send me back here. Oh, oh bukan you dah bukan you dah fed up lah. Duduk no, 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 no. Okay, so you 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 here sekejap yes. for a uh, for a particular thing, then you akan balik yeah, ke pulau balik, okay, balik. guys. Yeah. What is the particular thing you are doing back here on the city? GoPro sekarang dia ada dia collab dengan PD tau. Dia orang ada buat specialty, distinctive specialty course. I balik ke KL untuk dia orang punya instructor development course to teach you guys how to fully abuse your GoPro. Yes. <laughs> so that, that's the word. <laughs> eh. Fully abuse your GoPro. Berapa hari uh, uh, you punya session? Hari. So he was attending a two-day course to become instructor. GoPro Distinctive Instructor Specialty. Ada berapa orang yang uh, attend masa tu? Around 15 candidates. Mostly daripada owners of dive centers. Agak segan juga masa tu sebenarnya. Sebab okay. saya je kira yang level rendah Yang lain semua tinggi-tinggi Tapi it it's fun If you all know Ma'i from Viking In Tanggul, dia my my reference lah So jadi seronok lah dapat kerja dengan dia So Ma'i was there as well? Ma'i was there Anyone else ada kat sana masa tu? From Flow Dive Centre ada Melanie Kita ada kita punya regional manager kat sana Okay Mr. Mr. Mark, Mark Hager okay. Yes, dia pun ada juga Of course orang daripada GoPro, Sales Team, Eat Uh, the organizer of the course from C Pixel, which is Terence. I see. I nampak people from Perhentian pun ada. So every yes. island dia ada representative lah. Who right. was from Perhentian? I thought I saw Anan ada. Anan. Yeah, Anan uh. ada. City base pun ramai juga. Kita ada Long Diver punya course director. Okay. And then from C Pixel we have Pagan. From Tioman saya seorang je. You seorang yes. je dari Tioman. Yes, Representing Tioman only you. Oh, okay. So, siapa-siapa yang berminat dengan kursus yeah. tu dekat Tioman ada bong seorang ke? Ya, yeah, betul. <laughs> okay. Apa tu? Paddy GoPro Distinctive Specialty Course. So, you pergi untuk jadi instructor. So, meaning to say you are able to offer this to fellow divers? Yes, correct. What is it? Apa sebenarnya course GoPro, Paddy GoPro Distinctive Specialty ni? I put myself in your perspective of view. Alah, GoPro semua tiap pakai ada dua button je. Alright, okay. Kita sekarang kita nak instant on delivering to the world. So in GoPro, kita ada Quick App. Sekarang dah I dah start edit pakai Quick App which is lagi best. Dia dah sama best macam Premier. Okay. Bila you subscribe to Premium on the Quick App, you dah boleh control everything. Fully, Fully access yes. all the the app lah. So ada sub- subscription fee lah. There is. On the good side, kamera kecil ni is 24.7 megapixel full frame gambar billboard lah. so you imagine you shoot your your video in full frame to compare sensors dengan yang lain confirm kecil tapi kita shoot in 10 bits we have more color palettes ada still shooting 8 bits so gambar dia lebih vivid ke macam mana lebih yes lebih vivid and lagi contrast sikit color dia masuk GoPro punya course we still show you the basic of the color loss And then we show you on the storytelling. On storytelling, there are four parts. What it is. You start with what and then end up. End the story macam mana. So that your post tu, dia tak bergantung. So we start with introduction. And then dengan scenery, kita dekat mana. Lepas tu, dia habiskan activity je. Show you how to storytell. You show you how to control your camera. Everything from the phone. Daripada segi, set your presets, the highlights. And then the new GoPro, kita ada time warp and time lapse. Macam-macam features. Okay, okay. So we will teach you one by one daripada A. From the how to open the door latch, battery latch. Sampai um, lah ke habis. Okay, so basically the specialty course nanti, let's say if I I were to come and belajar from you and then you will teach me about the camera itself. 
explanation about camera tu function dalam camera macam mana nak guna kamera and then after that to prepare for shoots lah for footage shooting yes. to post production or whatever lah so is it a dry course ataupun uh, dia dalam classroom saja ke ada practical ke and uh, apa lagi yang kita akan buat Malaysia is the first one in Asia so all the 15 instructor in Malaysia tadi itu core instructor of GoPro pioneers yes lah, the pioneers it's a one day course it's a dry course i've been suggesting make it a bundle to get into the water so you get the real scenario of using your GoPro actually you kena ada dalam air because you need to know your buoyancy of taking pictures oh understand lah sebab kita dalam diving industry yes. I mean even though it's a dry course you are going to bring your divers down yes. masuk dalam air macam mana nak ambil gambar dalam air correct use all the correct setup managing camera underwater apa semua tu you akan ajar yes. dalam specialty course tu yes and then oh, I'll okay, show okay. you on when to use the high dynamic range the HDR okay. on the shallow ke or dekat D can you yeah. explain to us a little bit what is the high dynamic range now what you see now belakang kita orang bright kan depan kita akan jadi gelap high dynamic range dia akan bright kamu ke kita ni sama dengan belakang that is HDR so when to use the HDR kita akan bagi tahu how uh, sunlight tembak masuk dalam air so there will be ray so where is your angle to yes it's a, it's a fun course Okay, because for me I take the course as kita dah semua dah tahu dah pakai GoPro kan nenek ke adik-adik pun kita bagi they all know how. tapi for me the most expensive learning tu is when you get around and then we go one by one on each idea how they say things We're talking about creativity lah video yes. creativity macam mana dia orang compose where was the course conducted and Who was the person who taught you how to teach this specialty course? Course is a two-day course. It was conducted in Nautilus Dive Center, which is in Bukit Kiara, Equestrian Park. It's it's a bit kind of VIP places, so it's it's well taken off. On the first day, kita orang we do all the introduction of the device. Like us instructor, we will present or in front of them, in front of Mark, on how to introduce you guys about the GoPro. GoPro, orang famous with mounts. There's a lot of mounts. Body mounts and head mounts. And now, orang ada mount baru. Dekat GoPro baru sekarang, dia ada one over four punya screw dekat bawah. So you can stick dekat mono, dekat your tripod. Okay. Sama macam DSLR. Okay. They teach us on how to use the mounts how you will place your lights macam dekat dalam course tu yang free hand yang handheld saya dengan Mai which is satu pegang kamera satu lagi pegang light so senang untuk nak control my lights nak control the mood of the subject dan marah sebenarnya <laughs> dia kata try to use the mount because you get better outcome and more dramatic outcome saya dengan Mai kita dah biasa free hand we try on it which is correct betul especially on the on the jaw mount or the chan jaw mount tu dia macam you clip anywhere you just let let your camera on roll ada that one part in the pool where mati dia ada uh, pimpong bed dengan skate wheel so dia jaga-jaga jaga so i was trying to get dramatic shot of it so i just clip clip dekat pimpong punya bed tu mm-hmm. while he juggling it so dap- dapat lah the movement of the bed it's it's fun to play with the clip actually And then now GoPro, if you want to shoot vertical, they said we don't have to tilt anymore. We can shoot normally. And then there's aspect ratio of 9-16. They can shoot vertical dan kamera. Dia akan tunjuk. Action cam sekarang tak macam action cam dulu. Macam action cam dulu, dia tak ada attitude tau. Dia tak ada AI. Nowadays, when you shoot, for example, in the pool, confirm-confirm kena fill, red filter. If not, you semua biru je macam banyak hidup. Now this tak payah, you just snap, dia akan belajar all your ambience punya, punya lighting, terus keluar. Superb lah, superb. A foolproof camera lah. Anybody boleh main, boleh shot dengan GoPro and get a yes. good quality video lah. Yes. Okay, okay. Bong, these are Pali GoPro distinctive specialty, right? Mm-hmm. Is it specifically for underwater only? Or is there any syllabus that teach you how to shoot on land as well? Of course, not in the water only. Dia dry course. Ada courses yang perlu pakai GoPro, pakai action camera lah. It's uh, paddy aware. You need to do your data, you need to collect data. It's on surface, boleh pakai. And then in the water also can. It's waterproof guys. Up to 10 meters. 
And then the accessory that you mentioned to us just now, Gan, mm-hmm. all those are actually used underwater or what? Because as I know, most of the GoPro accessories, they are only promoting it to use on land. Are those accessories that you mentioned waterproof? Can they withstand salt water? They have a 3 meter El Grande pool. Panjang that pool. They call us all instructors untuk tunjuk to them that they have a barang boleh pakai everywhere, anywhere. It's robust actually. Okay, so nowadays mm-hmm. all the mountings uh, accessories yes. are available to be used for underwater as well. Uh. Not oh, only fresh water but also salt water. Uh. Correct. So the course not only teach candidates how to use the camera but it does introduce some of the GoPro accessories yeah. to the students as well and how to use them effectively. Correct. Let's say when there's a student that comes to you who wants to do this Pali GoPro Distinctive Specialty course. Okay. What are the requirements that is needed in order to attend this course? Do they need to bring their own equipments? Are the equipments provided? What is the prerequisite for this course? Okay, guys. You guys are going to capture the fun. You need your camera. That is number one. On the accessories, for you can bring yours if you have any. And then we can go more details on the accessories. For example, maybe we have a three-way tripod 2.0. There's so many ways for you to use in the water and on the surface. You can make it as a gimbal or follow cam. Normally, kita pakai tu bila kita pakai DSLR sebab dia berat. Tapi on GoPro sekarang, on the three-way, kita boleh pakai benda tu. There is other accessories for rentals. You want to rental on the GoPro also, there is. Try to get your own accessories. Or at least yeah. a camera lah. A Definitely camera. A camera. Because if you have rental also, it can, might be limited lah. Yes. Then. Okay. On cool. the models, doesn't matter. 9, 10, 11, 12, semua boleh. Ha, sebab ada orang yang baru-baru ni, dia inquire me about the models. Dia pakai 10. Dia tanya, boleh ke? Still boleh pakai ke 10? Cakap, ya boleh. I capture my World Ocean Day punya video which is you can go to GoPro Awards. Tengok my video orang ambil for the winning footage. That is captured with Hero 10. Oh, yeah. I just found out today, Mr. Bong, the one sitting right next to us, just won an award. award. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. the World Ocean Day Award, is it? Is yes. it what is it it's, called? Yeah, World, World Ocean Day. Yeah. Where can they watch their footage? For Instagram, you guys go to global account for GoPro. Uh, you ada nampak satu jellyfish. If you go to their website, uh, they akan tunjuk kat situ juga all the videos that are chosen. Hmm, congratulations. Thank you, sir. On on winning that award. Well done. Yes, yes thank you. Mind me asking what did you want? <laughs> $500. Wow, that yes. is a lot of money. And then now I'm competing for Asia Best Challenge. Doa doakan lah. How are you planning to spend that $500, bro? Look, look, you're friend, eh? <laughs> it's it's in her account now. <laughs> oh, you already received the money? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow, okay. that's awesome. Very okay. genuine of GoPro. Is there any prerequisite for dive courses? Like, do they need to be at least advanced in order to take this course? Or they can just ride out of the bed from open water? Okay, if you bundle it with dives, of course, we need to be good in our buoyancy. The main gimbal for camera is your buoyancy. It's not about your your tree. If you can maintain your buoyancy top notch, tak yoyo lamai, cunda. Age requirement? Is there any age requirement? So there's no. there's no. So as long as you are open water, you boleh ambil yes. specialty ni. Yes, eh? betul. Can junior open water diver? Can. Can, okay. Why? Because last time I ada junior open water, how to make them good in their buoyancy, I bagi camera. Okay. I give them the camera and then I ask them to to shoot the anemones and clownfish. Okay. So they can focus dia dekat situ tau. Dia dia tak bergerak. Okay. It's a good practice actually. And this uh, party distinctive specialty you can just take it right from uh, yes. open water onwards. Yes. Sir. And as you said you can also bundle it with other dive courses as well. Correct. If maybe that person want to do for only snorkeling, they can bundle for only snorkeling. If snorkeling kita takkan pakai kita pakai El Grande pole for 3 meters you use floaters right? Then we teach them with floaters bundle them. As I know, right, there is already a specialty course in related to photography right now. Yes. What is the difference between that and this uh, GoPro distinctive specialty course? From the course structure, mostly the same. 
because underwater color loss and then buoyancy how you want to place your lighting the difference is yeah at shin cam and then full frame cam full frame lens so what yeah. you're saying is this gopro distinctive specialty and the difference between the photography specialty you have different cameras usually the full frame cameras that you're going to use but this gopro is specifically for gopro yeah. and for this gopro course right do they teach you how to do videos or do they teach you how to do still, still images both in video we can actually pause save frames we can look for our frames save it Wow, so there's actually a lot of things that you need to cover. Yes, exactly. Because photography and videography is basically two different things. Mm, exactly. For me, videography is your storytelling. My style, normally when I shoot, I don't do post-processing. So I will straight out from camera. From the camera, I will adjust untuk dapat that outcome yang ada dalam post-process. Wow, yes, really? Yes, the straight, yes. The video that you want that is rewarded to you by GoPro that mm. is no pro processing no post process straight from the camera yes for example that video is slow motion I will do presets on slow motion masa tu air sangat ter- tengah teruk location dekat tanggul masa tu if I shine my light from top dia tak nampak that the both side of the jellyfish bila I main freehand kita boleh control but it depends on your skill buoyancy when you practice more you you'll get the buoyancy is the cause for people who are already well versed with photography and videography or from zero the cause is solely for <coughs> those who baru first time yang pakai camera also beginners ah yes we will teach them on the color wheels color loss kita akan ajar juga kita ajar daripada beginners I myself thought saya tak belajar underwater photography and videography but then I spend lots of time on kalau ada lampu sini macam ni apa jadi when you ambil this course you dah tahu photography and you already know what to do the function of it it's a bonus the course itself dia bukan pasal kamera je the best part is about the quick app oh, okay ah ha, dia punya editing tool dia punya power tool best you know how much is the subscription fee that you mentioned If I look into Singapore, hmm. it's around, if I'm not mistaken, 100 Singapore dollar. But in Malaysia, dia tak ada lagi. In our region, dia tak ada. Is it lifetime or is it yearly? Ke apa yearly, apa? if I'm not mistaken. Then you get the clouds, you dapat access to the tools. Tools dia yang best tu. Does GoPro has any accessories for videography and photography? I know there is the underwater case and there are a lot of mounts. Is GoPro planning to come up with any accessories that is dealing with underwater photography and videography I like the red filters wide angle lenses Lens. or narrow lenses okay i've asked our gopro guru about this gopro itself dia tak bawa keluar all this aftermarket punya lens and all the color filters but then there is other companies the outcome is quite good very good so third party lah yeah the third, third party, party like AOI company. and then we have backscatter flips flips 12 11 depends on the models do you personally use any one of those things at the moment <laughs> Yes, I'm using AOI wide angle. No wonder you win awards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I suka shoot wide because when you shoot wide, you have that cinematic view. The wider it become, dia akan hilangkan distort tepi of GoPro. Sebab when you in hyper view mode, dia akan tepi tu akan ada nampak distortion. So you put on lens, dia akan hilang distortion. Then you can come closer. So when you take the course at the beginning, you will introduce the equipment itself. Of course, the camera and the accessories and everything. And then you will also teach the students how to use it and how to shoot underwater. After that, you will be post-processing when you're using the quick app from the mobile. Mm-hmm. Basically, that is the course yes. from start to finish. From start to finish. And not forgetting, guys, we play with salt water, right? After you guys dive, offer me rinse. Including the rinsing, how to rinse your casing, how to rinse all your buttons, we will show you how. Care maintenance of the yes item. your okay. post maintenance cool. from A yeah. to Z. Okay, yeah. cool. I think I think in a whole the course is a re- really well structured course, and uh, you know you get to learn preparation in order to set your camera. We teaching people about storytelling, and then the application of each uh, functions, create stories and all that stuff. Nice, yeah. nice, mm-hmm. nice, nice. Is creativity part of the course as well? Do you teach the students, the candidate, how to tell a story? Storytelling, we will show you how to, like introduction, okay, what's the introduction? And then the body of you capturing it, okay, what's the activity? Who's there? Where is it? Done. 
at the end of course the payoff we want to see that you guys celebrate on end of the video the best part of the course is where you gather everyone around and see how they see things that is expensive on how to on your creativity on the angle where you should take and stuff it's in your creativity ah about the creativity sendiri okay. At the end of the course, I will need you guys to compose me a one minute video and we will go through one by one. Personally, based on your own opinion, what kind of videos or pictures do you like to take underwater? Do you prefer to take reels? Do you prefer to do vlogs or do you like to take still pictures? Reels, yeah, reels because I like to put music in my background. People in the course, during the course also, they do orang pening. How come ah? Uh, they tanya. When I shoot on footage, I sing the song in my head. So I know already the part will be on this, this song, this song, this song, this song. So I'll sing first. Like most of them, they will teach all the video first. Then only they find the music. Yes, okay. they cut, they trim, trim, trim. That's why my video is straight out from camera because I already okay. everything in my head how I want okay. to it to be. And Dicky, I have a question for you too. <laughs> when when you are in social media, right? What kind of underwater scuba diving content do you actually like to consume? Yeah, good question. Yes, good a lot question. actually. I like to see marine life. Any footage that tells me story about the nature itself corals not really about people diving the experience but i like to see more about the nature itself how corals behave the formation of corals and such the symbiotic between various marine life you know pelagics going after meal that kind of stuff so these are the things that i really look at although because i'm also a diver There are times where I like to see diving footage as well. What I look for in a dive footage is informative. A dive documentary is something that I will look, but not necessarily diving experience. What about you, Bong? Like when you go underwater with your camera, what do you normally look for? What do you like to shoot? I don't hope. Normally, I don't hope. Adam, Adam went out diving with me. Normally, when I'm in the water, I just hover in one place. I just stay there. If the tank can last for two hours, two hours it is. I wouldn't go dive around. I wouldn't look for anything. I find all the exotic marine life stuff, all the ex- exotic stuff when I just statically there. Stay there. So there's no planning lah. You go on a dive. Yeah. So whatever appears in front of you, that's what you capture. Yes. Tiba-tiba, squid depan muka. Dia dah ada dekat situ lama, but then kita tak perasan. Yeah. Do you usually end up with footages that you want every single dive? Yes, it is, yes. Like the crab, octopus is my vision. Ah. Perhaps Bong is very easy to please, eh? to be pleased. <laughs> Or maybe the place that he dive is just awesome. Yeah. You just need to stay there and wait and then everything comes exactly, to him. Exactly, exactly, true. Like last season, for example in Tioman, dekat ABC, there's a dive set called Ghost Town. Daripada shore je. Last season, the whole season, I tak pernah nampak stingray yang besar, besar, besar. Then this year, early this year? Jenkins kot. I think so. Okay. Okay. That is big. This year, I, I went for night dive and then tiba-tiba I nampak benda depan muka and then with long tails. Yang ikut dekat-dekat-dekat, it is besar. Besar, yeah. besar, scary. There are sometimes that I keluar, tak jumpa apa-apa. But normally, I will try on keluar bila hujan or tengah wavy dekat surface because I find that when there's thunder and wavy kat on surface, underwater is super bersih. Would you prefer to go underwater to shoot in the morning, the afternoon or night time? Early, early morning because that is the normal time where I encounter bump hits because of the water temperature and then in the evening, an hour or two before for night dives. Basically dawn and dust. Yes, because Basically. of the blue and the rays. I recently was on the island and Bong was saying that uh, we went for a dive, more particularly on a night dive. Yeah. I actually think that for video wise, it might be easier to dive at night because yes, uh, th- when it's night dive, right, you have no natural lights. Correct. So it's a lot easier to control lighting when it's a uh, night dive. Yes. It's a lot more easier to shoot, and then the colors pop a lot more when it's at night. The true color of it. I don't remember when was the last time I did a night dive. He enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed. We took about almost a 90 minutes dive. Yes. We managed to capture a lot of things. And it's my first night dive since I think even before COVID, bro. <laughs> when when was the last time you did a night dive, you know? 
Wow. It's like me last March when I was in Tillman. Yeah, night dive, but so, you yeah. just go shallow. Uh, I'm quite frequent. It's generally, we I mean most people don't do a lot of night dive, yes, but yes. because of underwater photography and videography, I'll see myself doing a lot more night dive. I usually reserve my night for dinners, drinks, then, and also socializing with friends. Right, night yeah. dive is yeah. usually not on the table, mm, but now right. I think I see myself doing this more. Enjoying doing night dive. Okay. Yeah, because of uh, photography and videography. So I'm a bit actually different from both of you. I prefer to capture divers. I prefer to tell stories in the divers perspective. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy marine life and mm. corals and everything as well. Mm. But maybe to me, people to me are more interesting compared like to other people. Uh, yes. And also the fact that whenever we dive, there will always be divers. I can tell the story all the way from land to the sea. As I said, they're always diver, so they are more predictable. Mm. And also, I of course, I can communicate with them. Mm. Like, ask him to hold here, and then yeah. I just yeah. swim around, you and can then I basically take direct of them. the so-called yes, yes. video itself. Okay. Yes, yes. I prefer to capture humans and divers, which is why a lot of people like to dive with me. I'm usually the person behind the camera taking videos of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enjoy dive with you. Yes. And Dickie, you know this, right? I've been diving for many years and I think last year, I only finally decided to get a camera. I'm using the Insta360 Ace Pro. The reason why I got motivated in getting the camera is because of our Bao Bao trip. Cave the diving. cave dive trip, yeah. So I would like to take videos of cave. Yeah. I find that very interesting. Yes, and yes, yes. I, and also I because there's so. no natural yes. light, so it's a lot easier to More take. dramatic. I have not bring the camera into the cave yet. Is exactly the reason why I bought the Insta 360 Ace Pro because it say that it's as very good low light exactly. capability. Yes. I will definitely need to invest more on lighting. One step at a time, I guess yes. I'll just go slow. But I definitely still have a lot to learn when it comes to photography. Mm. I don't think two days is enough. As Bong said, it's for the beginners. Basic. Yeah, so it's good for basic, but uh, in the long run, you still need to do a lot more dives and... Spend time with the camera. You definitely need to dive a lot with the camera in, yes. in order to know its characteristic and okay. how to use it. There is no one camera that is jack of all trades. Yeah. yeah yes. They yeah. are specifically... Right, yeah, specific cameras for specific things. For instance, action cameras are good in taking videos. And obviously, they have much smaller sensor. They cannot do macro videography. Yes. Even yeah. if you have a macro lens, no, it will be not the same. you can't compare it with yeah. the full frame. Agreed. Even point and shoot also, right? There are a lot of different types of videography and photography. Ranging from, let's say, cave diving, yes. mark diving, you know, wide angle, macro, mm. and, you know, a lot of other types of yes. uh, videography. Some people dedicate their life to for photography and videography, yes. right? So diving is just a means for them to be able to go down to capture what they want yeah. to capture. Yes, exactly. But for us, we started diving first, then we fell in love uh, with, with videography, videography and, and, yeah. photography. and photography. Just to capture what we're doing and, you know, yeah, and then as memories yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. Like Adam said just now, he's using Insta360 Ace Pro. It's a very good camera in low light. If you're doing something in a low light situation, that is the camera because of the sensor. But for me, personal preference, I want the color because the GoPro color is different than others. Macam Adam cakap, kita tak ada the super camera, the jack of all trades, kita tak ada. GoPro has been in the industry, action cam industry for a long time. They are probably one of the first ones who came up with underwater action cameras. Yeah. One advantage of GoPro over all the other brands that is out there is the amount of accessories that they have now. Exactly. Not even only their own proprietor accessories, third parties, companies do come up with accessories as well. That's the thing with GoPro. Like for instance, my camera, I have very limited accessories yeah, that right. I can buy. At the moment, as I know, I can't get any wide angle lenses. Yo, I. Yeah, I know, one. I know. I just found, I just recently found out, but it's not out yet. They have this adapter that allows me to use wide angle lens and micro lens, mm -hmm. which was actually initially made for GoPro. Yeah. But then again, of course, GoPro will definitely have an advantage over all those other brands because of the amount of accessories that it has. Yeah, mm. yeah but 
Another tip for me, when you shoot, it's like finding your attitude. Do you like still photo or do you like to shoot wide angle? Go through the videos. All the videos in your suggestion videos, know yourself. But kalau, if you buy everything, habis at the side, tak pakai. I am exactly uh, that person that you're <laughs> talking <laughs> about. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, know yourself first. Get your attitude of capturing a photo. Then you plan on getting things. Macam bong, I like to shoot everything in slow-mo underwater so that I can see the movement. I like that battery smooth punya outcome. The attitude of the thing. You're doing uh, 120 FPS? 120. Sometimes I do 2. 240? Yeah, 240. Wow. I push by 240. When you do slow-mo, kita pergi dekat dia so that we can control on the angle. Huh? I like to play slow-mo. The equipment is quite expensive. Ada banyak yang sekarang tengah R&D. Benda CNC mahal. Macam Adam punya AOI. Dapat Insta360, dia still doing the R&D. All the CNCs. Orang pun mahal. Diki, I have not seen you carrying an underwater camera it's, before. It's been, it's been so long since I... Uh, Study know. back get into underwater photography, videography. I used to play a lot with the uh, DSLR, but that was a long time ago. But then again, you know, the hassle of bringing these cameras, <laughs> they're huge. The prep time for it, is, it just takes so long. I, I realize that as I go older and older, right, I have less patience. And keeping up with the technology is also another thing. At one point, I more or less left the, uh, the unit aside. And it's there, it's still there, it's still usable, but I seldom use it. Since that the compact camera or the action camera mm-hmm. is up and the quality seems to be really good and user-friendly, I may decide to <laughs> one. We'll see, we'll see how. The objective now is for our cave diving. I might invest compact camera or action camera for that. There are some instructors out there that use action cams like GoPros and whatnot to capture their students and then to use it as their post briefing yes. materials as yes, well. Yes. I think that is quite useful, it especially is, yeah. when you want to show your students what they should do underwater and what they shouldn't do, right? When they look at the videos, they have a reference that they can see what they are actually doing wrong and how for them to become a better diver. Yes, exactly. There are instructors right now out there that brings cameras out into the water during the course to capture their students. Yes. For the students-wise, I believe they are actually not allowed to bring cameras when they are doing courses. Exactly, correct. All courses or is it certain courses only? Oh. Of course, if you are doing these courses, you have to bring a camera. Yeah. Like let's say when you're doing open water advanced courses, are you allowed to bring action cameras or whatever cameras? For me, my style of teaching, I want them to not think about, okay, I need to breathe this much. I need to breathe out that much. I don't want them to focus too much on the buoyancy. So I hand out my own okay. camera to them. Take the anemones. Take the clownfish. But then I don't want you to get too close. I want you to stay there. The clownfish must be focused. You yes. must really trust your student a yes. lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tapi bila I bagi macam tu, they can statically stay there. That is the best part. Okay. Uh, and then... To keep them focused. Yes. They don't think too much on the buoyancy. You need to get that easy breathing, like normal breathing. And also for those of you guys who are out there who are doing training dives, believe it or not, we actually go for training dives. A lot of people doesn't even know what a training dive is. As in, we go down into the water and then we train our skills. Even instructors, dive masters, yes. the dive pros, they actually do it. Yes. yes. Most people, are the recreational diver, once they get certified, they just do fun dives. They don't actually practice the skills and everything. Yeah. We dive every day and then we have to, especially for tech divers. Yeah. Let's say we do a four days course and then we spend a lifetime just to train those skills, right? Bringing a camera down is actually a good tool to record our progress exactly, yeah. and to see what we need to do and what we not need to do. Mm. But of course, that is easy. We just put it somewhere else and then we yeah. take. The camera, I will see in the future that it will probably become, I won't say essential item, but something probably that is very useful mm. for scuba yeah. divers yeah. to consider. It may actually become an essential tool as well. Depends yeah. on, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I would think that it can become a safety tool or so. Of course, in terms of training, And recording incidents and stuff. It's yes. basically like the. It's like uh, the dash cam in the car. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. You know, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I wanna say. Nobody yeah. has got camera in their cars, yeah. but nowadays yeah. it's uh, essential to to record stuff. 
camera has become such convenience that a lot of the times I see divers, they just mount it somewhere and then before the start of the dive, they just press play and then they just run it, let it run its course. They don't do anything with it. Yeah. At the end of the dive, of course, they have to come back and then they see what they get and then they just put the highlights of it. Some cameras even have artificial intelligence that does that for you. Yes. It actually captures the highlight for you and then it just edits it for you straight away. Mm. You don't have to do anything, mm. Nikki. Mm. You just need to press play. Of course, yeah. you need to buy it. Yeah. You need to mount so it. So what are we looking at? How much are these cameras now? How much are the action cameras going in the market? Well, right I mean, how much is a GoPro now going? For the pricing, there's no fixed price on the device because we plan on to bundle the bosses. Once it's out, don't hesitate to call the center. For you guys who are actually are interested in doing this course and would like to know more about how to operate a GoPro underwater especially, yes. contact us or you can contact Bong. I will yep. put his Instagram uh, right below here. Yeah. Give him a message. Ask him whatever you need to ask uh, regarding this party GoPro distinctive specialty. Yeah. Anything, anything. I have another question for you. Yes. But since this is a specialty course, right? Mm-hmm. Most people do their specialty course like bundle with other courses, right? Yes. What kind of other courses do you recommend doing together with this GoPro Distinctive Special Continue course? Education? Of yes. course, buoyancy. Yes. So you're talking about peak performance buoyancy. Yeah, PPP. During my course, doing the instructor development, where I remove my BCD, I go through the hoops. Mat Yi got the shot. So dramatic. When you good in your buoyancy, the flow of the camera is so nice. There's no shaky. And then when it flows, you just go one way, one kick and then one way. So I will recommend on buoyancy. If you plan on or not to do a wet course and on pedi wear forming a group of doing surface course also can pedi gopro distinctive specialty wonder where buoyancy. peak performance buoyancy yes. specialty course okay maybe we can go dive we can just hover on top of sea urchins maybe there's a subject <laughs> who knows who knows urchins. okay yes on top of stag horn who knows ah, ah. all right yes okay i would think being a nitrox diver will help too since uh, we're probably going to spend a lot of time underwater, right? Yes, exactly. I actually have a complaint, uh, guys. Why? Why? Usually, right, when you dive with people holding cameras, like, my God, they are so slow. You know, right, they don't go with the flow with the dive master. And then most of the time, they, they will be themselves. So it's a bit difficult to guide them. For What's instance, that? and also another thing is when you find a subject, okay, they will have to take turns and yes. take videos, right? Some people don't actually take turns; they just bang into each other. Yeah. You know, oh, my turn, my yes, turn, those yes. kind of thing, right? So I think self reliant might be also a good course to do. Huh? Yes. The more knowledge you have, the better it is a diver you are. But I mean, we are just speaking in terms of what kind of specialty that is related to photography and videography in general. Things that you should actually know in order to become a better diver. A more taking, responsible diver. Mm, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. For instance, if you want to be a responsible underwater videographer or photographer, right? Yeah. I would think that maybe it's good that you find a, a like-minded buddy. Like let's say me and Bong, we go on a night dive, just me and him. Because both of us know what we are doing. Yes. That's the reason why we do shore dive. There's no schedule. We don't have to wait for the boat. Yeah. But if we go on a boat dive, we have to follow the boat schedule. Mm. Yes. Right. So we need to be responsible. Like if we want to do a long dive, then might as well do it ashore. Look around. Look around your body. Okay. Just check on him. Okay, he's there. Smenet dua. Check on him. Check on your body. Check on your body. Make it a a very good habit of it. Uh, because why? Because when you take video or you take a photo, you can hire lah. You can hilang in between. So that that eh hilang ah. Always check on your body. All you videographer and photographer out there, we understand your passion because we are part of it as well. Do be aware, be vigilant, mm. and be safe when you are doing this underwater. Most of the time, you are diving with a group of people. If possible, find the your buddy that can do it with you safely. If not, if you are following a boat, if you are following a group, please do follow the flow with the group. Even though you found something interesting and you want to spend for the, there are people who spend forty five minutes just to take one thing, right? There is the right time and opportunity to do it, but you need to know when it is. Yes. It's not all the time. If you want to do this, go for a shore dive, charter your own boat, yeah, things like that. We need to be a responsible diver. Totally agree. Is there anything that you guys would like to add uh, in regards to this or anything that you guys want to say? 
before we end the podcast? I don't have any more question actually. We leave it to Bong here. If there's anything that he wants to share, if there's anything <laughs> about the specialty course. About the course, of course, we're going to have lots of fun. The most precious thing is when everyone share their views on with the class. This here in my hand is one piece of modern <laughs> technology that is convenient and it's high tech. As you said, the secret ingredient is always the user. It all depends on how you use this thing. Exactly. To tell the story. Betul. It's Betul. not the camera, it's the person behind the yes. camera. Never about say. the gear. As they yeah. say. For those who are interested to learn photography or videography, there's an option out there, a new option, which is the GoPro Distinctive Specialty. There are only 15 instructors yes. out there who are capable of conducting this course in Malaysia. Reach out to them, get yourself certified. If you want to see the result of all this, right, please do visit Bong's Instagram. Yes, my Check Instagram. Check out his content. Also like again. his content. Thank you so much, you guys. Comment on his content and reach out to him. Yes. Find your reference, actually, reference. And I uh, would like to give a shout out to the Turbay Divers for this t-shirt and also Aquana Malaysia for providing me with this beautiful hat. Thank you so much uh, to Ken from Aquana. Aquana. Yes. And Jakob and Edwin from Turtle Bay for this t-shirt. Yes. This awesome t-shirt. Love it very much. Thank you so much to all the instructors out there this coming july is going to be petty women's day i think it's in about a month or so now it's going to be petty women's day shouting out to all the women's women divers <laughs> out there a lot of dive center out there is going to celebrate women in diving so look out for that dive offer whatsoever we're not too sure if we have any right now but uh, if there's anything that we want to offer to our women viewers we, we would like to out. invite females uh, guests yes. to our podcast and talk to us about scuba diving because mm. I'm sure that the perspective of men and women is different when it comes to this sport. Yep. The female's percentage of divers is actually growing. Yes. We see that every single day uh, which is a good thing. Mm. I would very much so like to interview, speak to some of the female divers female out, divers there, out and there and to see their perspective when it comes to scuba diving. Especially when it comes to tech diving. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> you know, finding a female yes. tech diver is Being so CCR difficult. More. It's not easy. I've dived with some of them actually. And they are, of course, very good divers. Very, very good divers. I would like to have them in the podcast. Mm. Wong's second half is actually here, but uh, she's camera shy. She doesn't <laughs> want to be in the video, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, represent. Yes. <laughs> So before we end, congratulations, congratulations on your certification. Oh Easily yeah, to me, yeah. yes. Diver. Congratulations. Before we uh, end our podcast for tonight, really like to congratulate you on the award winning. Thank you so much, and, sir. And uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. And, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming to the podcast for the second time. Yes. Sharing your experience like and your advice to yeah. the listeners. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, this is our tenth episode. Yes been half a year already since we started this podcast congratulations uh -huh. Adam thank you so much I mean thank, thank you for the support yes. it's your second time here yes, already yes. yes and now to all the viewers and listeners thank you guys for listening to us for reaching out to us to ask us what happened because uh, it's yes. been a, a month since we, we didn't have a lot of one. you guys are concerned about what's going on with the uh, May uh, episodes I, I'm actually quite overwhelmed with that thank you it only shows that people are really interested in what we're doing here it's yes there are a lot of room for improvement we are here to stay and we want to get inputs from the listeners as well yeah I'm Diki from the Dive Law Podcast and till next time Adam we'll see you in the next episode Bong Lastly from me, thank you BNG Diving Center for the support, both of you guys also. And thank you GoPro and Paydi for this very fun specialty course that you guys been collaborating. Thank you so much. I can't wait to teach you guys. See you. All right, guys. Till next. Till next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.